Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chinny Swift here with from the uh, Minecraft Workbench community, and um, seem to be under attack here in my base uh, for the 404 challenge. Um, but to no avail, they will not get in, only because I have this lovely wall, or lava pit right here. Um, so it makes it very difficult for people to get in. But today what we're going to be doing is uh, trying to get these trees to work again. So in the last episode you saw me fail miserably with the trees, the tree growing. And um, I saw a tip uh, from uh, somebody on the comments in the video and they told me that I could dig down. I could dig down and uh, that trees need seven seven spaces to grow. So I don't know how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna dig down anyway. So we're gonna dig a pit that we're gonna grow the tree the tree in, um, in hopes that at least at least we'll drop this down one more, in hopes that this is going to uh, enable us to grow the tree itself. Because let's face it, my number one priority right now is wood. That's the uh, that's the number one thing I need to get. All right, so how do I want to do this? All right, let's plug this baby up. Man, stuff is all around. All right, so let's keep digging this out. There will be a problem there with the lava on this side. So, because I don't want to waste it, um, I'm gonna grab it, and uh, basically we're just going to. Dig this pit again and place the lava there. All right. So now this should be this should be more than high enough. I, oh man, if this tree doesn't grow, you will see one angry chimney swift. All right. So let's get rid of this. Give it room on the sides. All right. So let's get rid of this. Um, get rid of these columns here. This process is just a little slow and tedious, so bear with me. Hopefully this will work, and um, if I can get a successful source of wood, um, we will really be able to survive down here. Okay, so um, I want to grow one tree. One tree. I think this room is plenty large. I don't know, what do you guys think? This is plenty big, huh? That's what I'm thinking. So let's go get... The, oh, I have one bone meal on me. Alright, here we go. The moment of truth. Yes! We did it. Alright. That's awesome. And now I can go gather wood underground. Sweet. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for all your help. And this tree should now drop more saplings, which is awesome because now I'm going to have an unlimited supply of saplings. And, um, nice, that is perfect. Uh, 
Alright, so let's let this uh, decompose. I'll plant a new one. Um, and let's see, I'm trying to think of what the next task should be for me to do. I think the next thing I need to do um, is let's plug this hole up up here. Because this is mighty dangerous. My goodness. I'd feel a lot safer like if I had this, you know, covered off. Um so we'll leave that like that. That way things aren't gonna be able to surprise me outside my door. Um now I do eventually want to get up to there, but for right now, we'll save that for a rainy day. And I think there's still water that flows through here. Yep. Alright. And this cavern is still available for exploration. Alright, so let's check this out. So there's water around here. I explored through here, I think. And there's places above me. Uh, sounds like they're all around me. And they could be up there too. Gosh. Alright. So I've explored a little bit out here. That was a weird sound. Um, okay. So... I think the trick now that I have wood is I want to make doors. Um, I want to make working doors th at all my exits. Uh, it's an easy way to distinguish an entrance from an exit rather than just a regular hole. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. Now I'm also going to build an exit as well. Uh, so let's build. Let's build a fortified exit here. Um, this is going to be something that I'm going to use to come and go from as like a side door. Obviously the front door over there is blocked off by lava, which is good, um, at least in just regular theory, because uh, we don't want things crawling through our front door. So let's build this here like this. Okay, so we're going to build up the side. Here is zombie, and I'm getting actually really scared because I don't know where he is. <sighs> okay, so let's build that there. Um, let's go build some steps to uh, make things easier on ourselves. Some stone stairs. And I could knock this down to this level here. Let's see what that does for us. Yeah, see that's that's a lot nicer. Um, and it still protects us. I hear this hallway here. You know, it still protects us from the lava that's over here that's lighting this this entryway basically. Um, okay. So there's one. Um, there's one exit. Now the other exit we're going to put around here, um, so we need to build uh, another door. And let's get some cobblestone as well. Let's go up here. So this is the uh, exit we worked on in the last video. Wow. Oh, this is the room. That's that's the uh, <laughs> that's the room down there. Okay, this is dark. I don't like this little crevice down there. I'll have to do something with that later. Um, but this will be the next exit. So, hmm, I, I don't know what I want to do. There is a lava pit down there. Uh, I don't want to cover it up because I like keeping it lit. 
Um, there is this little area over here. A sort of watering hole slash lava killer thing. Um, and this does not look like a very safe area. I'll tell you that right now. Now this doesn't look very safe either. But it's providing me with light. So let's do that and that. Let's flatten this off. Alright, so now I can't fall. I mean, I can fall in there. Okay, so this, that, did, that really didn't change the lighting around this area much. Um, it looks like the... Looks like it's still lighting up down here, which is fine. Um, my other entrance is down there. So, let's make the, um, the next exit or entrance like right here. So I'm gonna need some more cobblestone, which is awesome because it's everywhere down here. And now, along with um, along with the <coughs> building of this doorway, I'm also trying to fortify fortify this area from a creeper explosion too. So by placing lots of cobblestone, um, it will uh, help with. The creeper, if the creeper were to blow up here, it won't do quite as much damage as it would as if I had just placed uh, dirt there. So, um, let's get some steps down here as well. 